With VSO Video Converter, convert any file to any format. If you're having a compatibility problem and your videos aren't playing on a certain device or you'd prefer it in a different format with different formatting, just throw it in Video Converter and convert the file. So let's take a look. I'll add a file here so we can see what options we have in the software. Uh, basically, you add the file, you select the conversion format that you want to convert to. Here is uh, lots of lists of different predefined formats. And if there isn't the format you need, you can make your own custom profile. And there's lots of settings in these custom profiles, so you can change the codecs, the frame rate, the bit rate, the audio, anyway, lots and lots of customization that can be done in that custom profile. So you're not limited in any way. So if once you load your video file, you select the conversion format, press start and the conversion begins and it's that simple. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other settings. So if I click on advanced edit, we can see here is a new window that opens up and we see the video and the audio stream that's associated with the video file I just loaded. We can press play and play the, play the video in the preview. Now if I select the video, we can see different options I can edit. Here is a uh, settings for the size. I could do padding and cropping on this file. So if I increase this number we can see black lines here, black bars that are appearing on the uh, preview window. So I can continue to do that and see the same thing with the other sides. We have uh, brightness uh, settings that can be used and anything changed here displays immediately in the preview so you see what your conversion re result will look like. Um, we can cut out portions of the video if we have commercials in them, for example, we'd like to cut out, we can add chapter points and do some uh, bit, video bitrate fine-tuning. We can also add subtitles if we'd like to our file. And of course, we can change those settings too by changing the color that they would apply in. And we can see that and change the color to something else. Anyway, all those, the size, the font, everything's done right there in that. So um, what else can we look at in Video Converter? There are other general settings like if you have a video card and you want that to be used for the conversion to make the conversion go faster you can check those settings under hardware optimizations. And again mostly to re remember is that you know Video Converter accepts tons all different sorts of video formats and it converts to a whole different type uh, lots of different formats so you've got everything you need here different editing tools available and it's really simple so add your video select the current version format and press start and let's do that now and watch the conversion begin so there you go it's uh, couldn't be easier check it out